Despite record high gold prices, it appears that many retailers have seen a very marked increase in demand for gold. Gold hitting record all-time highs of over $2,600 an ounce has not slowed down the demand for gold, but with many retailers, it has actually increased the demand. If you look at this article on Kitco, it talks about how Costco has seen a double-digit increase in demand for their gold bars in the last quarter. And that is not an insignificant number because Costco sells a lot of gold. Many of you know that Costco has been selling gold to their members for some time now, with many of their members taking advantage of discounts and rewards with their membership, as well as with the credit card that they purchased them on, sometimes making it actually back of spot when they make that purchase. But it's not just Costco. That demand has been echoed by many of the coin shops that I talked to, as well as some of the online dealers that I talked to as well they have noted an increase in demand for gold. It's been a very good time to be a gold and silver retailer for that matter these last few months as the prices continue to increase. But I also saw this article while researching the topic, and this is from baron.com. I'm not gonna read the article to you, but this is the headline. It says, Costco's gold bars are flying off the shelves. Demand is pushing the metal to record prices. Well, I'm not 100% sure what he means in that title because it's generally not the physical demand that's pushing the record prices, but rather it appears that the record prices are pushing the demand. In other words, what we're seeing is a massive case of FOMO. And what FOMO means for you that don't know is fear of missing out. In other words, people are fearful that they're gonna miss out on this run up in gold. And many market analysts are calling for gold to continue its bull run well into next year. So maybe they're right, but as I've said, no one really knows what's gonna happen to the spot price of gold. It's actually down just a little bit today. It could continue to fall. Who knows? But what I did and what we're going to share with you in today's video is some information that I got from multiple coin shops. So I called four different coin shops. I even got a screenshot I want to share with you that shows that not only is there a crazy increase in demand for gold in most places, but also there are a lot of people taking advantage of these prices by selling it in an up market. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you some quotes and what some of these coin shops said, and we're going to talk about this a little more. But before we do, do me a favor don't forget to like and subscribe and help us continue to grow we're almost at 200,000 subscribers another year another monster box of silver for 2024 sd bullion is giving away a full monster box of their one ounce silver tree of life coins you can enter this giveaway all year but i suggest that you do it now by going to sdbullion.com forward slash sweepstakes and make sure you enter today thank you to sd bullion for sponsoring my channel so like I said, I called four different coin shops today. All four of these are coin shops that I've dealt with in the past. They know about my YouTube channel. And I basically asked them what is going on with gold and silver. With gold and silver prices being up, are more people selling? Are there more people buying? What is going on? And I got a number of different responses. I wanna share with them with you today, but I first wanna share with you this right here. And as you can see, this comes from a wholesaler's website. I only shared with you the top snip and I blanked out the states. That's what those two blank areas are. But just to read it to you, and this kind of goes into what I'm talking about here, it says, we are experiencing an increased volume in purchase orders. In other words, that is when they are buying stuff from the dealers that they deal with. Uh, it says blank facility, it has a four to five day backlog. And then it says for faster processing, consider shipping to our blank facility. Our outbound shipping times are normal. That's where they're selling it to the dealers, not buying it from the dealers like their purchase orders. Well, maybe I'm reading into this wrong and you can leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. But it appears to me that if you have a wholesaler that has a four to five day backlog on purchase orders, that means there's a different kind of FOMO out there. And that kind of FOMO that I'm talking about is the fear of missing out on taking advantage of high prices and selling your gold and silver while you can. So what I did is I called four shops, like I said earlier, and I asked them what's going on in their location. I wrote down some notes and got some quotes. I'm gonna share with you what they said and talk about what that means, at least for them in their area. So let's start with the first one right here. And this first one comes from Josh from My Night Coin and Bullion. And what I asked him is, are you busy? Are there more people selling and are there more people buying with gold prices up? His literal first response, and this is a direct quote, was yes, yes, and yes. And as we talked about it in a little bit more detail, he basically said we've had a lot more cold calls than normal asking about gold and silver, but also an increase in new customers purchasing gold 
for the first time. Again, this is from our friend Josh from My Not Coin and Bullion. And Josh had a lot more to say than what I just shared with you in that quote, but he basically said, yes, like everything, there's more people selling, there's more people buying, and there's a lot more interest in the market. Like I said in previous videos, gold hitting record all-time high after record all-time high, it's hitting news cycles, it's hitting mainstream media, it's getting people interested. But it's also, you know, causing a lot more people, like I said, to sell because he's had an increase in buying, he's had an increase in selling, Selling, and he's at an increase in overall demand. Another thing he said is that he has a lot of people actually coming in and trading gold for silver, but he had one person coming in today that's actually trading silver for gold. So there's also people moving back and forth between the metal they want to be invested in. Although if it were me, I probably wouldn't trade silver for gold today, but Again, that's just me. Now, the second quote comes from Mike from Mid America Coins. And I called him, and actually, while I was talking to him, he was actually on a buy site making a purchase as we spoke, which uh, was kind of funny given that's what I was calling about. But he said there have been a lot more people selling their gold and silver, but we've also had a huge increase in people buying. Basically, we've been very busy. So basically, Mike here echoed what Josh from Minot Coin and Bullion said. He said they've been busy on both sides. It's been very crazy. And again, I talked to Mike for a lot more than just that little quote. But, you know, from what I know of Mike and what I've talked to him about in the last, you know, week or so, he has been incredibly busy making a lot of buys, but a huge demand in the shop as well. So he really hasn't had to move a lot of that product out, which also brings back into question going back to that wholesaler sheet who's actually selling it to the wholesalers? Because if Mike's been buying a lot, but he's had a lot more new customers as well, he probably hasn't had to move a lot of that product out to a wholesaler to get rid of it or to quote unquote dump it. And that could be because of comments like this because it's not the same everywhere. This one comes from Keith at the Coin Crew. Keith said, actually, no, not really. He says, we've been very steady when it comes to buying from customers, but we've actually been a little slow on the selling side. So with a comment like Keith and his shop, if he's selling less, but he's buying more, that's why you see the quote from the wholesaler or the comment from the wholesaler, I should say, on their website saying that they have a backlog because if a shop is actually buying a lot more product than they're selling, they have to outsource it to a wholesaler. In other words, they have to sell it to them. And that's why that wholesaler is busy. So I imagine that even though in my four calls today, only Keith said that, I imagine there's a lot more shops out there than just in my little small sampling size of just four shops. Because just look at what this shop said. And I asked him, by the way, he wanted to remain anonymous like the other three did not. They were fine with having their name on there. But he said it's been crazy. And he very much emphasized the word crazy when I talked to him. He said, we have a bunch of new customers every week, but we've had so many people selling that we really haven't needed to quote, order anything. So talking with that shop, and I was only on the phone with them a few minutes, more than what that quote says. Basically, he said they've been so busy. They've had a lot of people buying, but they've also had so many people selling that they haven't actually had to go out and order it, which also goes back to the wholesaler sheet where they says that their sell orders or their purchase orders, like what you buy from them, is actually on a normal time frame. So in other words, they are not selling as much, but they're getting a lot more in. So I think to sum it up here, and then we'll wrap it up after this, based on what I've seen from these four shops, and yes, I know it's a small sample size, is that I think there's gonna be a lot more shops out there like Keith, but also the shops that have a huge demand on the sell side as well, in other words, they're selling a lot, they're getting so much in that they don't necessarily need to go out to the wholesalers to buy it. So you have wholesalers that are buying a lot from shops like Keith, but the shops like Mike and Josh and the other one that I can't name, they are selling what they're buying across the counter. So those wholesalers aren't selling a lot out, but they certainly are buying a lot. And as a result, they are gonna be inundated with product. And I think what this leads to, and we really haven't used the word premium in today's video, I think what this is going to lead to is continued low premiums or even lower premiums. Because about two months ago, I reported on premiums that were basically zero. Well, those basically zero premiums have disappeared. The rounds, the 90%, the premiums have went up on those around 50 cents per dollar or around 50 to 75 cents per ounce on rounds from what they were a couple of months ago. But I don't think that's gonna last forever because there's so much coming in. And even though, like I said, three of the four shops are selling it as well, we have a lot of shops out there, I believe, like Keith, that aren't, and they are gonna have to move that out, and those premiums are gonna lower as a result. At least that's what I get from this. But what I will finally say here 
is that no doubt about it, gold and silver have a lot of interest, a lot of people thinking about it, a lot of people talking about it, and a lot of new people getting in the stacking as well. So if you're one of those new people or if you've been around for a long time and you haven't done so yet, do me a favor, make sure you are subscribed. Go down below. Many people watching don't even know they're not subscribed yet. I'd really appreciate the support. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers. And other than that, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.